Did you hear the news today? Shohei Otani is actually a left-handed pitcher. How in the world is this even possible? I will say she did use the proper ear for a Tetris card. And so while I was really undecided this time last night about which one was my favorite card from the Wednesday night releases, obviously it was not going to be the Trey Turner or the Ichiro, but that Tatis by Brittany Palmer, now 24 hours after release, has risen to the top as my favorite card on Wednesday. We will see though how it sells and if people are interested in a Tetris Fernando Tatis Jr., but the Minecraft Derek Jeter did very well. We'll get to that print run here in a second and congratulate a new winner. But welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris, otherwise known on Twitter and Instagram is at CRT underscore sports cards and the website that you want to go to for everything related to Project 70, it is my website, CRTSportsCards.com. And do not forget, you can purchase every single card that gets released in this set for just $18. But now before we talk about the cards that released today and the simple fact that Shohei Otani is now a left-handed pitcher, we do have to congratulate our latest print run champion. This is one of my favorite segments of my weekly shows. On the Monday night video, I was giving away that Derek Jeter by Ermsey, the Minecraft Jeter. That print run number, very, very strong, 3,619. But can you believe it? That wasn't actually the best card from the Monday night releases. But from a print run contest perspective, congrats to Orange Joe. That print run guess, 3,527, was the nearest without going over. So I hope you and your kids really enjoy that card when I mail it to you guys here in a few weeks. And so while that Jeter wasn't the best card from Monday from a print run perspective, that spot right now belongs to Michael B with his Shohei Otani. That card came in just over 4.2K. Third place here, Chuck Styles with his Mickey Mantle slash Jackie slash Willie Mays, just under 2.3K. And the lowest printed card on Monday was actually 500 cards bigger than the average print run from last week. That Tatis by Crayola, 1.6K. For a simple math fact here, on Monday's cards, 11.7K were sold. And last week alone, between all 20 cards, we only sold just over 22,000. So 50% number right there after Monday means we are in for a very, very strong week. And today, we had the number one artist in the set release a Yankee. How high will this card go? But what four cards did we see today for the very first time? First up, it was Soulfly with the 26th Shohei Otani in the set. They used 1988 Tops. This is the 13th card from 88. And from an Angels perspective, this is the 56th card. Second up here, we have Aaron Judge by Alex Pardee. Even though that looks like a natural card with that background, this is now the 15th Aaron Judge in Project 70. This is also the 10th card from 1972 Tops. And from a Yankee perspective, this is card number 133. And on good measure here, for the 134th time, we have another Yankee. We have Lou Gehrig for the third time this time by Don C, and he used 1997 Tops as the inspiration. That is only the sixth card from 1997. And then ending the day, it is Matt Taylor with his Hank Aaron. This is now the ninth time we've seen Aaron in the set. He used 1958 Tops, the 1858 Tops card. And from a Braves perspective, this is the 36th Atlanta Brave. So now if you only had $20 to buy one Yankee card for today, which one are you buying? Are you gonna go with the fan favorite of Alex Pardee with that super clean Aaron Judge? Are you going with Don C with that Lou Gehrig? I will tell you right now for me, I'm going with that Lou Gehrig by Don C. I really believe that this is Don C's absolute best card of his entire Project 2020 and Project 70 run. When I saw this card today, I was immediately drawn to it of the four. I wanted to read what it said. I wanted to see more about Lou Gehrig. And so for me, this one is my favorite card of the day. I will tell you though, that Alex Pardee, Aaron Judge, 
I said a second ago, it's super, super clean. I have not been someone who's been immediately drawn to Alex Pardee's cards from the beginning. I know how cool they are. They are really, really resonating with the community. But for me personally, they just kind of missed the mark. But this one really, for me, hits the mark. Now, maybe it is because of that background. I, I, I just think it's a natural card. So maybe I'm being incorrect here with that. But because Alex Pardee stayed very true to 72 tops. You have the blue cloud background and you've got a really, really big Aaron Judge. I do like the card, but if I only had 20 bucks, I'm putting it down right now with Don C and that Lou Gehrig. I will also say, I really believe that is also the best Lou Gehrig in the set at this exact moment. We will see if we get more or maybe this is the last time we will ever see a Lou Gehrig card in Project 70. But I can guarantee you this, this will not be the final Shohei Otani that we see in this set. Now, this card is uh, maybe a little divisive, a little controversial, but we do have to compare and contrast this card to another recent release around Shohei Otani. Now, the one I'm talking about specifically here is Chuck Styles Otani, which was a direct reference to Ghosts of Shishima. This Otani by Soulfly is a direct reference to Ace of Diamond. So if you look at Ace of Diamond artwork, this is a direct copy. But the challenging part with this one by Soulfly is Shohei Otani is not a left-handed pitcher. But if you go back to the Chuck Styles Otani, the elbow guard was on the left arm, which is incorrect, but it's correct for Ghost of Shishima. But now, moving again back to Ace of Diamond here, that pitcher is a left-handed pitcher. I just think this is incorrect And when, when you look at how do you properly represent Shohei Otani. Shohei Otani is a left-handed batter, but he's a right-handed pitcher. If he had taken the Ace of Diamond artwork and just swamped the arms, it wouldn't have been an issue at all because it had been correct for Shohei Otani. But on the flip side, no one really had an issue with Chuck Styles making the Ghost of Shishima Otani look just like the video game. So at the end of the day, I'm not sure what's right or what's wrong. I just know that Otani is not a left-handed pitcher and this card depicts him as a left-handed pitcher. And for that, I do not like this card. He should have been a right-handed pitcher. But now ending the day for us, it is going to be that Hank Aaron by Matt Taylor. Again, a card that stays very, very true to what Matt Taylor's doing in the set with the color scheme. But from my perspective, I don't know why Hank Aaron is so dark in the photo. Maybe it should have been a little bit lighter or maybe he's really trying to draw your attention to the face and really show that contrast to Hank Aaron in the face versus Hank Aaron in the batter. I don't know, but for me, it just looks like Hank Aaron is just a couple of shades too dark for this card for what Matt Taylor is trying to do with his entire set. But look, don't let these two cards really shadow the day or cloud the day. There are brighter days ahead in Project 70. We're going to have some very, very strong print runs. I can't wait to see how well this Aaron Judge does by Alex Pardee. And let's see how the week is overall. Will we again top 40 to 45,000? Who knows what's coming out tomorrow to end the week, but I can't wait to see the Friday cards. With that, have a fantastic Thursday evening, and I'll see you all back on Friday night to end another week in Project 70. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.